Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great weekend. And welcome to this new liquidity video. I uh, wanted to do a full technical update on the LQTY. Um, we have to obviously incorporate fundamentals in the market as well, but I'll do that and we'll mostly focus on the technicals and we'll mostly focus on the, on liquidity. That's what we'll do in this video. Try to prepare you the most for today, but also the beginning of next week. Um, so let's get right into that. There's uh, there's a lot I, uh, I need to say and a lot we need to discuss in this video. So before we get into that, I do want to say that if you want to receive daily trading signals, including on liquidity, uh, I'm probably going to uh, place a new uh, liquidity signal soon. Check out the links in either the pinned comments or the description. There you'll find instructions on how to join. Uh, but all right, now, now let's talk about uh, liquidity. So liquidity has been uh, has been a little bit bearish over the last 24 hours. Volume has dropped down as well, but it's it's not something to worry about too much, I would say. Um, as you can see earlier, we actually uh, managed to hold that 28 EMA for quite a long time, the blue line. Then we hold that 50, held that 50 EMA, but yesterday after the bearish momentum we received in the entire market. It was not only for, for liquidity, it was just a market-wide move. Uh, after that, we broke down below the 50 EMA, which is the first bearish confirmation we've had in a while. Uh, and that's causing more bearish momentum. Also in the market, I mean, Bitcoin is also dropping down, as you can see, not on the one minute time frame. But on the one hour time frame um, but liquidity is falling a little, li little bit more it was also a bit inflated perhaps in terms of uh, in terms of the price i think it's a good project but still uh, at some point what goes up must come down uh, so now the big question is is when should you buy liquidity and should you buy it at all uh, because i i know for a fact that some great buy orders uh, and, and some great long uh, long limit orders trades uh, are coming up, but the big question is is when. Uh, now we're at this uh, at this psychological support level at 2.5. You can see that we found some support there yesterday, uh, but it wasn't strong enough to break above that 50 EMA. So now uh, we have a couple more options. We have 2.3, uh, and then under there you get 2.2, and then if you really want to have no risk, you'll you'll long at two dollars. Two dollars really is the strongest support level, um, but it's unlikely that we'll hit that level in my opinion. So what I think is going to happen is I think we'll actually find some support at all of them. I think we'll now drop down to 2.3. I think we'll find some support there. But the only way which we could really get to $3 again is if from a set level, so from 2.3 in this case, if we were able to break above 2.5 immediately afterwards. If we can do that, we'll get easily up to 2.9 and $3 again. Uh, but that doesn't seem like the most likely scenario for now on the short term. Uh, for now, it looks more likely to me that will drop down to 2.3, get up to 2.5, but then continue our way down towards this level between 2.2 and 2.1. And I think that's a stronger level. I think from there we can actually uh, go up to 2.5 and we actually have a chance of breaking above 2.5, uh, albeit that the market circumstances need to support it. Unfortunately, right now we're in a um, in a market which, uh, which basically is very, very much correlated. Uh, so that's also not entirely, but that is, for example, the reason why liquidity was very, very bullish or why it could be very bullish starting last week, Sunday, all the way up to uh, to the end of Tuesday. That was because Bitcoin was also, frankly, just very, very bullish during ex exactly that time. Um, so it's correlated, especially on the, on, on the short term and, then, um, and when, when there's a limited volume as today on a Sunday. Um, but this is what I think is going to happen. This is my short-term thoughts and my short-term analysis on liquidity. I'll be back soon with another analysis. But uh, for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.